Hey everyone, it's Amy from The Final Countdown. Um, it's been a few days since my last video. I know I've been talking about Zumba a lot, um, but there's something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about um, because I don't want this channel to just be me in sweaty workout clothes and, um, you know, that's not what a better life is about. It's not just working out. It's not just about eating better. There's other things too. And I'm sure a lot of you have noticed I have extremely bad acne. Um, it seems like since I moved in with my husband last year um, from a completely different town, completely different um, county in fact, um, that my skin kind of exploded. It was bad, horrible, painful acne. And I know that's embarrassing to talk about, but I'm sure there are other people out there that feel my pain, literally. And I'm sorry for that. But one thing that um, has helped me is this new face scrub that I did myself at home. Um, I'm, I got the idea. I have to give credit to Jacqueline Hill. She has a channel on YouTube, and she's absolutely amazing. Go look her up. Um, but it's not necessarily exactly what she did, because she has very um, dry skin, and she has to use a lot of moisturizers. I personally have been scared to death of moisturizers and conditioners, even for my hair, because I have always been oily. Um, it seems like my hair is oily, my face is oily, um, I have really bad acne, and I have for a very long time. It did seem to clear up there for a year or so until I moved, and it's like there's something else in the water that's, um, causing this crazy reaction. Um, I did use Biore's Ice Cleanser for a very long time, and that seemed to be the only thing that could really keep my face clean, and then it started breaking me out really bad. So, thinking that it was a lot of the chemicals that were in it, I switched to Burt, Burt Beeswax, um, sensitive, um, cream, uh, face wash. <coughs> and while I like it, to an extent, it does clean very well. Um, I, I'm not a big fan of cream cleansers, and I never have been. That's been a thing my entire life. Even when my mom would buy cream cleansers when I was younger, I hated them because I don't like the smell. I don't like the texture. Um, they just feel gross and like oil on your skin, which, of course, I'm phobic of because I have oily skin. Um, so this is what I did. I found a scrub online, and I decided to make it. Here are the ingredients that I used. I actually had these in my house already. This is Simple Truth Organic Olive Oil, and um, it's 100% organic, and it is a product of Italy. Um, it's absolutely amazing. I love to cook with this, in fact, and this is a lot of times what I use. It's actually, that bottle is $7, so it might not seem, it, to me, the size and as much as I get used to it, it that's actually a pretty good price in my mind. Um, this is the honey I used. Um, I just got it at my local grocery store. It is um, local um, here in Arkansas. Um, no, that's not where I live. Um, here, I don't live in Mountain View, so don't try to stop me. <laughs> um, I love to put this in my coffee instead of sugar. I like, um, apparently you can use honey as a spot treatment. And also, if you incorporate local honey, not store-bought, over-processed honey, local, these honey, it's apparently supposed to help with seasonal allergies, and we'll see. The next is sea salt, and all I did was I mixed it up in a little ramekin and put it in my shower. I put it all over my face and rinsed it, and my face has not looked better in years. You can see I still have a little bit left that's trying to heal, but overall my skin has not looked this good in years. So try it out. If you're an oily monster like me, maybe it'll help. It helps balance those oils in your skin. And I hope you're all having a great day. Thanks for watching and click that subscribe button. Y'all have a great day.